So yay, Miko's banner comes back out in like less than a day. So here's a quick video on why you shouldn't sleep on it and how she's actually gotten better. Now I'm not gonna be like the other YouTubers that say, Oh my god, must pull, must pull, if you don't pull you'll die! No, you'll live without it still. But thanks to some external sources, Yay Miko has actually become a little bit better. And of course the main one I'm talking about is da 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 No I'm playing. It's Dendro. With the introduction of Dendro, Elemental Massey has become way better on Electro characters and Dendro characters. And Yamiko actually has a lot of Elemental Mastery scaling. So I have my Yamiko leveled up 80 out of 80 with AA8 talents because I like using good in my Lisa team. Trust me, a video is going to come out on that very soon. But with the introduction of Dendro, you can get crazy damage bonuses from having crazy Elemental Mastery. But just remember, it will only help if you want it in a Dendro team, which honestly most people will be doing now since Dendro has come out. And with her passive, for every point of Elemental Mastery she has, her elemental skill turrets will actually get 0.15% more damage. So if you want crazy elemental mastery for the Dendro team, your turrets are going to be doing a lot of damage. I've been using her a lot in my Dendro Lisa team, and as you can see from the gameplay behind you, she can be really good and do a lot of damage. But that goes for like basically any electro character after Dendro came out. But her in particular is really nice because she has the elemental mastery scaling on the passive, so she does stand out from the bunch. Now if you do decide to go this route, I'm pretty sure the emblem set would be fine on this still too. But you could also decide to win the Gilded Dream set. Cause this can give a lot of elemental mastery and attack and can work off field. So it's literally perfect for her to place all of her turrets, dip out, and still get all the buffs. But once again, this is for Dendro teams only. You probably don't want to build a whole lot of elemental mastery if you want it for general use. Which is actually why you don't see my Yamiko with too much elemental mastery because I like using her in my Raiden team too. My Raiden team doesn't have a Dendro character. But hey honestly if you go for a Dendro Yamiko you can put a crap ton of stats into elemental mastery and I'm sure you'll do amazingly good with it. So I know a lot of people have some mixed reactions on Yamiko in the past but now with the Dendro release she can actually be really good. She was already really good before but if you want to build her around Dendro she can be even nastier. Once again, this is a must pull, oh my god. But hey, I just want y'all to let you know that she has become a lot better. Even with the little elemental mastery my Yamiko has, she gets a really good damage bump, even from just having one Dendro character in the party. So no matter what, when you go with Dendro, you're going to see an improvement. This also makes the Witsith even better than it already was for Yamiko, because now the elemental mastery style will also help a crap ton more. So if you have a Witsith and its refinements, I definitely recommend you put it on your Yamiko after Jinjo came out. So yeah, that's basically all. Just a quick PSA. Let y'all know to give Yamiko a double take because I'll be giving her one if you know what I Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Da <laughs>